Hello, everybody. I'm here to talk about the About Me presentation that we're working on this week. So it starts with there. There's something special about classroom community. Every school year, I look forward to meeting each and every one of you. I want to learn about you, your interests, your goals, your dreams, your music preferences, and story. Please share as much as you feel comfortable. I will be combining the first slide from each of you and putting them all together. Then you can flip through and learn more about your classmates. You're also going to share one of the slides that you get to choose from um, for the whole class. So let's go to page one, right? The basics. It says delete this text box and place a photo here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to insert. And if you upload a picture, you can just do that on your computers. You can probably just take a picture and like find your camera. Let me see. I'm going to put the camera on mine. I have to click allow to let it do it. No camera selected. That's kind of weird. Oh, you know what? I don't think I can do it right now because my camera's being used on the screen share. But let's say I added a picture. You guys can do this from your phone, right? So I'm just going to click here. It's kind of backwards, as you can tell. So I actually have to flip it around. I've got this little circle. Turn them all the way around. There you go. That's me. So that's not how I want it for my box, right? So I'm going to take this corner, shrink it down until I can make a good size. Maybe even it out too. There we go. Um, what's cool too is you can right click. And over here is this crop image. So I'm going to right, I'm going to crop image so that my picture, let me see here, is about the size I want it to be. So I can actually go along there. Oh, I can't go along here. You know what? I'm going to make my picture bigger so that it fits in here perfectly. So I'm taking this blue square, making it bigger, right? So it fits nice. And now I'm going to right click hit crop image so that I can crop it so that it's nice and in the frame. Let me see. Uh, right here. You gotta grab the black line. That is the one that does this for me. Okay. So now I have pictures in here pretty good, right? I'm just gonna click out of the box and boom, there you go. My picture's in here. The basics, Mr. Farina. Now, what's my name? Remember, all these boxes are actually, you can click into them, so I'm just gonna double click. I'm gonna write after where it's the name. So my name is Daniel Farina. What's my age? Wouldn't you like to know? I'm, uh, I'm 27. And a fun fact, something fun about me, I actually enjoy playing the guitar. Oh, you know what, you guys can't even see me. I just realized that right now, one second. I've been talking this whole time and my webcam was even um, okay, so that's all about me right there. So I'm going to go to slide three. See, so yeah, that took me, that was pretty quick, right? Just adding a picture of yourself, get it from your iPhone or whatever phone you guys might have. If you don't have one, ask your friend, ask your parent. They can get you, they can send you a picture of you. I know you guys are professionals of selfies, so don't act like you're not. All right, next thing we're going to do is my family. Tell me about your family. Who does it consist of? Do you get along? Have you lived here your whole life? What else should I know? So I'm going to... Press enter because I want to see the questions as I'm writing. So I clicked in here and now I'm going to actually tell me about my family. So let me see here. I'm going to say my family consists of six people. My wife is a teacher at Warren. And I have four kids. Their names are. Sebastian, Juliana, Oliver, and Mia. Sometimes I forget. Uh, have you lived there your whole life? No. We have not lived here our whole lives. And what else should I know? It is very loud at my house. Always, right? So that's what I'm going to do. Now that I type my answer, I can actually delete what the questions were. So it's just my, my family here. There you go. Now delete this text box and place a photo here. So again, I have another photo that I actually imported. It's of my family. Let me see here. I upload it from my computer. You guys can do that or you know get it on there however you can. If that part's confusing for you guys, let me know. Again, this is too it's actually too small right now, right? To be in this box. So you can actually 
I'm about to stretch it out. It's not going to be great quality, but that's all right. So again, I'm right clicking, copy my image, grab this black line, shrinking it down. Get this black line, shrinking it down. If you guys couldn't tell, this is a screenshot from my iPhone. All right, so once I click out of the box, it's this nice little square. Now this is too small, right? So I'm just going to go here and make it bigger. I know we're a little bit blurry. So you can fit in my frame a little bit better. So you can make it nice and pretty in there, or you can just do like I did right now. I'm going to crop it so that it looks better in the frame. Oh, there we go. There we go. I mean, we have these pretty frames. You might as well use them, right? Right? Do you guys have to do this? No. But I was just making mine look prettier. Okay. So here's my family. I wrote about it. That's slides two and three. We're done for the day if you guys are doing just Tuesday's activity. Um, now it's talking about your goals, personal goals. Tell me about a personal goal you've set for yourself. What steps would you take to achieve it? So what's a personal goal I've set for myself? Do you guys ever think about that? Um, let's see. A personal goal that I have is to work out Look out at least five times per week. I will achieve this by setting a time every day to work out. That's how we do it, right? You organize it, you put it on the calendar, whatever you do. Uh, talk about your school goals, talk about your dreams. Same thing, you're just going to click here and then change it. I like answering the question and then deleting what it was there before in case you forget what, was, what the question was. So that is your goals. Now my interest, type one of your interests here and explain why you like it. You're going to do this three times, one, two, three. So I could say I, or one of my interests, oops, interest is Fortnite. Yes, believe it or not, I'd like to play Fortnite. I enjoy playing this because I get to play with my son and it's fun. We have taken first place a few times together. So there you go. That's one of my interests and that's why I enjoy it. It's fun. I get to play with my son, right? Um, so think of a couple things you like doing. Think about things you do with your family. Next one, words to describe me. Write one word to describe you here. So I can say I'm creative. Whoa. That's one word that describes me. So this page should be pretty simple, right? You're only required to write five words. Slide seven says, please share any concerns you have about this class. This could be an area you might think be difficult or still you need help with. So you can tell us, like, uh, I'm not very good at typing. Do you have any suggestions for me? Right? Do you enjoy reading or writing more? Why? So you gotta answer that question. I enjoy reading more than writing because I like to see other people's Ideas and the world they create. Whoa. Like J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter, right? All right. And I haven't been showing you guys, but I mean, I guess somewhat I am. I'm going back and I'm fixing my grammar, right? I'm checking for spelling and stuff. Make sure you guys do that. Nothing worse than us. I've seen a lot of easy mistakes that you guys know how to fix. Last, use your words. Share with me a favorite quote or song lyric. What do you like about it? And how would you describe yourself? 140 characters or less. All right, so that's basically it, guys. Your favorite quote or song lyric. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think what mine would be. So this last one, share with me a favorite quote or song lyric. What do you like about it? Um, I play the guitar, so one song I actually learned recently, and I like the lyric of, is Foo Fighters. I think the song's called Hero. But it goes, there goes my hero. There goes my hero. 
it's ordinary. All right, so that's the lyric. There goes my hero, he's ordinary. So that part. And I like that because it reminds me that my heroes are everyday people. Like my mom or brother. The people I look for I look up to and they are my heroes, right? There is a hero in each one of us. That's why I like that song here. All right, last one. How would you describe yourself in 40 characters or less? Awesome. No, um, man, that's actually tough. The 40 characters, each one of these is a character. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. That's 12, 13, 14 already. Right? So, um, if you guys don't know how to do, uh, let me see if I can figure it out for you one second. So, I could not find a character count tool. I mean, there's one in Microsoft, I'm sorry, in Google Docs you can use. If you do like a, a word count and then find the characters. But what I would do is just count how many 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So it's like 33 times, let's say four. I don't know. So there's like six sentences and you'll be fine. Even less than that. So yeah, you can write it, you can count it after. It doesn't have to be that accurate. Just do like two sentences here. Two or three sentences um, should be enough to get the under uh, 40 characters. All right, so that is what we're going to do for this assignment. Thank you. If you have any questions, remember to show up to our office hours or ask away through email, any other way you want. All right, have a good one, guys.